Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lectures Online. We are doing mathematics and for Kramer's rule. Uh, here we are given uh, two sets of uh, equations whereby the first equation is 8x minus 4 plus 2y equals to 0. And the second one is 3y equals to 4x plus 4. And we know that Kramer's rule deals with matrix and matrix is just uh, you take the coefficients of uh, the variables in your equations and those variables should be in order usually they go in alphabetical order let's say you have b c and a you have to put them in alphabetical order so it's going to be a b c and in this case we have x and y so in alphabetical order it's going to be x and y and then you have the the constant on the other side of the equal sign so it has to be your variables equals to a constant on the other side and if you check this first equation it has a constant on this side so we have to put it in order and leave out the constant on the other side and to do that it's going to be 8x and we take 4 to the other side so we are left with 2y equals to since 4 is negative on this side, it's going to be positive. So this is our first equation. I'll highlight it with the red pen. This is our first equation. In the second one, we have the same problem that we only have y. And x, it's on the side where we should only have uh, constants. So we're going to take x to this side. So it's going to be negative 4x plus 3y equals to 4 and this is our equation 2 equation 2 and then from these two equations we set our matrix of which is going to be 8 2 negative 4 3 and then equals to our constant is 4 and 4. So this is our matrix. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then from here, what we do is that uh, we calculate the determinants. The determinant for the matrix itself, the determinant for x, and the determinant for y. And why do we do that? We do that because Kramer's rule helps us to solve for x and y. And it says that x equals to the determinant of x over the determinant of the matrix itself and y equals to the determinant of y over the determinant of the matrix itself so let's calculate the determinant for the matrix itself the determinant for the matrix is going to be 8 2 mind you determinant you have the straight line the matrix is sort of a corner bracket so it's going to be 8, 2, negative 4, and 3 equals to. Then it's going to be 8 times 3 minus 2 times negative 4. This is going to give you 24 plus 8. Because it's a... Uh, 8 times 3, 2 times negative 4. And this gives you... Eight plus 24, it's going to give you 32. Yes, 32. It's going to be 32. So the, the determinant equals to 32. And then the determinant for x equals to then you take uh, your constant you substitute them at the place of the x variable so it's going to be 4 4 2 3 and then your determinant is going to be 4 times 3 minus 2 times 4 and this is 12 minus 8 and your answer is so that 
determinant of x equals to 4. Then the determinant for y equals to. Then at the place of y, you substitute the constant. So it's going to be 8, negative 4, 4, 4. Then it's going to be 8 times 4, minus 4, times minus 4. It's uh, even better to put this in brackets before you punch them into the calculator so that you get the right answer. Sometimes, you know, the board mass can get you to have wrong answers and then this is going to be 32 minus 16 this is going to give you 16 and then to get x we are going to use this formula again changing x over a delta x over delta which is the determinant of x over the determinant so it's going to be 4 over 32 which is 1 over 8 which is 0 0.125 and then the y value which will be the determinant of y over determinant equals 16 over 32 which is uh, oh actually this is not a minus this is not a minus it should be plus because minus and minus so it should be plus and then this is going to give us a 48 so this is going to be 48 and then this is going to give us 1.5 so x equals to 0 0.125 and y equals to 1.5 if you plug in these values to this equations they have to give you this for let's try that out it's going to be 8x x is 0 0.125 plus 2 y y is 1.5 and there we get a 4 if we plug into this one it's going to be negative 4 0 0.125 plus 3 1.5 there we go we get a 4 so that's it for the Kramer's rule when we've got a second order matrix thanks for watching magnanimous lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our videos also do follow us on our social media platforms on facebook we are magnanimous minds instagram magnanimous underscore minds twitter at magnanimous mean one thank you again